One of you to put the beans in. A busy working mum has ways to stay on top of things. Sadie has perhaps an unexpected one. She's big on nootropics. That's the buzzword for a new generation of substances taken to make users think faster, remember for longer and concentrate harder. This is my supplement cupboard that I've been using. Um, I actually started off with just the one draw, but slowly what's been happening is I've been getting rid of all of my spices and I'm actually taking over. Nootropics could technically be anything from caffeine to unlicensed medicines or psychedelics. Sadie, though, sticks to legal and mainly natural compounds. And usually what I do in the mornings, to be honest, I'll just make a decision how I'm feeling and what it is that I actually want to do for the day. For her, the supplements have become a useful tool. You really need to be on the ball all the time. Uh, I'm a mom, I'm, I'm busy, all, I mean, I've got about three different businesses. You know, if I'm in a meeting, I need to be able to remember stuff and recall information. Nootropics, also known as smart drugs, appear to have had some beginnings in Silicon Valley, where high-performing tech entrepreneurs try to get an edge over the competition. Now the trend extends to, well, anyone. It's hard to know officially just how many people are taking nootropics, but go online and there are forums and podcasts devoted to discussing them. There's one user here asking which nootropic would be most beneficial to take while learning a new language. Someone else over here is asking which nootropic would be best to take instead of a cup of coffee in the morning. And it seems fans don't just want to push their brains up a gear, they want mental preservation too. They've seen their parents uh, who have, you know, maybe had Alzheimer's, had senile dementia, kind of seen what the, you know, the, the last decades of life can be like as far as a cognitive downslope. And so they're, they're very, um, you know, anxious to make sure, like, you know, I, I saw what happened to my parents. I want to make sure that doesn't happen to me. Some scientists studying the effects of cognitive enhancing drugs say there are groups of society who could really benefit from them air traffic controllers, doctors working at night, people in the military. Uh, that way they could keep themselves or other people safe. However, we need to know that these drugs are safe for healthy people to use in the long term. At the moment, many nootropics fans buy over the internet and with some of the drugs, that's illegal. Also, customers can rarely know what they're really getting. It's a very dangerous position to take. If you think you're going to go online and get a genuine medicine, you may well not be. It could be something completely different. It could have a different active ingredient. It could have no active ingredient. It could have twice the potency that you actually thought might be in there. The idea of improved brain performance, though, seems to have many willing to take that risk. Gemma Morris, Sky News.